Someone might say, we know that some of the anointed will be on the earth when the great tribulation breaks out, but who's to say that Jehovah won't be anointing more people years from now, and then they'll be reading about us in some updated version of the Proclaimer's book. In the Jehovah's Witness cult, there's a specific date that has captivated overlapping generations of its slaves. 1914. But what is the significance of this date? The witnesses are led to believe that the generation of 1914 was the generation Jesus was referring to in Matthew 24, verse 34. Truly I say to you that this generation will by no means pass away until these things happen. Watchtower Corporation's founder, Charles Taze Russell, taught that 1914 would be the beginning of Armageddon as well as the establishment of an earthly messianic kingdom. When 1914 passed without incident, it was realized that the slaves would need an adjustment to their understanding. This was done in 1918 when Watchtower's new president, Judge Rutherford, started a public campaign and released a publication entitled, Millions Now Living Will Never Die. For over 10 decades, followers continued to believe this false doctrine, but in 2014 this became problematic when witnesses celebrated 100 years of kingdom rule, but yet no Armageddon. And the generation that would by no means pass away, have all passed away. The governing body knew another adjustment of understanding would be needed, so in 2015, governing body member David Splain gave the simplified explanation of what they refer to as overlapping generations. Suppose that we assume that Brother Franz was the last of that first group of anointed ones. That is, the group of anointed ones who were anointed in 1914, who saw the sign and then continued serving faithfully. Now we're not saying Brother Franz was, we just don't know. But for the sake of argument, let's suppose Anyone anointed after 1992 would be of the anointed, but he would not be part of this generation. And Jesus said, this generation will not pass away until all these things happen. Aside from the fact they must expand the definition of the word generation for this to make sense, They've not taken responsibility for having misled millions of people for decades. Watchtower isn't known for its intellect. However, they are a business-savvy publishing corporation and will turn to the one thing they know best to provide this explanation. Business Models The following is a lecture from Yale Courses explaining the economic model known as overlapping generations. So, in the 1940s, someone named Maurice Allais, a, a, a French economist, introduced the overlapping generations model into economics. So the idea of the overlapping generations model is that time doesn't have a beginning and an end like we've assumed so far. Uh, time might go on forever. Whether or not you believe time, whether there's scientific proof that time goes on forever or scientific proof that the universe has to come to an end, let's face it, many of our institutions presume that time goes on forever. The chief, most important among them is social security. Notice that Jesus is saying that his disciples should learn something from the fig tree. Now any little boy, any small child can see a leaf on a tree and point to it and say, look, leaf, but what does it mean? Every young generation was going to uh, give money to the old, but they shouldn't worry so much about it because when they got old, the, the next young generation would give them money. 
Obviously, if you thought time was going to come to an end, the last young generation, knowing that they were the last generation, re would refuse to give money to the old because they weren't going to get anything back when they were old. But then the second to last generation, knowing that when they got old, they'd get nothing from the last generation's young, they wouldn't give anything either to the old. And working backwards like that, if everybody's rational and it's common knowledge that the world is going to end, nobody would ever participate in the Social Security scheme. The child may not know that summer is near, but an older person who sees the leaves on the trees is going to say, ah, I know that something that can't be seen yet is going to happen. Summer is going to come. Now you can't see it yet, but the older person knows that summer is near. So it's clear that there's some thought that the world might end, or at least there's a thought that it's not worth bothering about the world uh, ending. So the overlapping generations model is meant to take that idea extremely seriously. Now, Brother Friends lived a long life. Could the governing body just be shamelessly begging for more contributions from its younger generation while trying to save face and avoid admitting to yet another failed prophecy?